I'm Guy Walker, I'm the course leader for uh, BSc Games Development at uh, Bucks New University. What we try to do is teach you the transferable skills of developing and designing and managing software projects that can be used in other industries. And that gives you uh, more opportunities, so when you leave university, you might well go straight into the games industry, but it may be that, uh, because it's so competitive, uh, that you can't do that. Uh, but your skills and the degree you've got uh, would allow you to go into uh, uh, mainstream software development. And there's hundreds of thousands of jobs uh, within that area. So 70% of uh, your time will be spent uh, developing or designing software. We do this through the framework of games. So rather than generating invoices like you would on a normal software engineering course, uh, we apply AI to characters and you get uh, and we create objects within 3D space. So the feedback you get from uh, developing uh, your code is uh, very interactive rather than being static like a, a normal software engineering course would be. Well, while the, the course really focuses on software development, uh, there's no requirement that you actually know how to uh, code before you join the course, and uh, we teach you from scratch. Right, over the three years, okay, we gradually build up your skills in software development. In parallel with uh, learning how to develop software, you'll be doing other modules as well. So uh, we have a, a games design module. So the idea is that you look at things like funivity, what makes a game fun. There's a module on 3D modeling. Uh, there's a module in the second year on animation. Now the idea there is that what we call these fun modules and uh, they're there to break up a very technical course but to give you something different, a flavour of perhaps other roles within the industry so you can understand the issues that uh, these creative people, the artists, uh, face. There's other modules that uh, specialise in uh, learning how to develop software for games specifically uh, and uh, we use the Unity Games Engine as a tool through which to teach you this. So you'll be developing 3D and 2D games in the first year as well. You'll find that some of the assignments are quite open-ended yeah? and uh, we tell you to develop a game that demonstrates certain techniques. So uh, by having this understanding of uh, the theory of games design, it helps you. Uh, in the second year, we have a team project. Now, this is a, uh, an opportunity for you to develop a more complex game. Uh, we have self-selecting teams of up to three people. Uh, we encourage students to work uh, with uh, members of teams from other courses. So it may be that you won't need an artist within your team. And the idea there is that uh, you develop a game. First of all, you have to come up with a concept. You have to pitch this concept to the lecturer to make sure it's appropriate and then you spend three months developing the game. And this is great because uh, the actual finished product can be part of your portfolio. But more and more now, uh, employers are expecting software engineers, okay, or software developers, to have a portfolio as well. So clearly they want to see some of your code, but if you've got a working game in there as well, that perhaps you've got a video of the gameplay showing there, then obviously that's a plus. Going back into the third year to the final year, there's another project there, but that's an independent uh, project, uh, so you work on your own, but it's a year-long project. But by that time, you've perhaps got a notion of where you want your career should go, what you're particularly interested in, and uh, you can focus your project on that. But in parallel with that, uh, we've got uh, uh, more modules that teach you uh, more advanced C++ data structures, skills of how we manipulate the data within our programs. More advanced AI uh, modules where we look at uh, decision-making processes and how we can make our NPCs uh, almost behave in terms of their decision processes uh, like human beings. And we also develop a uh, C++ games engine from scratch you get working briefs. So the briefs you're given will be similar to what you experience in industry. And what we've done in the past is when you pitch your ideas for your team project, uh, we get an industrialist to come in to provide feedback. We have guest lecturers come in. Uh, one is a director and uh, he came in last year and basically said he'll offer two jobs to the graduates, assuming they get a first. In terms of assignments, uh, the course is a very practical course, so there are very few exams, maybe one or two in the first year and that's it. Most of uh, the assessment is done through assignments and typically uh, for each module that you do, you'll be given one assignment and you'll be given maybe three to four weeks to complete that. 